Today's police officers and firefighters use computers, radios, and a host of high-powered vehicles. But none of that was around in the 17 and 1800s yet. The departments were. So how did police officers and firefighters keep the city safe in those primitive times? You might never know if not for this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Well, it was about a year ago that something really wonderful happened for the city of Norfolk, specifically for those men and women who have worn the uniforms of police officers and firefighters. We are inside the new Police and Firefighter Museum in downtown Norfolk, right on Freemason. I want to introduce you to Jim Marcourt. He's the curator for at least the police officer side of the house because the museum is very neatly divided into two sides to honor the two departments. Right. So how great is it to have a wonderful space now to display all of these items that were in different places of the city? It, it really is. It's, uh, the police department started in uh, 1797, and we've had a police museum since uh, 1919. Mm -hmm. So the, it's moved around a lot, been in storage a lot. Well, as soon as you come in, the motorcycle catches your eye. <laughs> what are some of the other items in here that people are really fascinated to see? People like, number one, the old pictures. Mm -hmm. the guns, mm -hmm. and the badges. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we have really neat is we have uh, in the case over here, we have uh, badges and objects that belong to our first two sworn female officers that came on in 1946. Mm -hmm. All right, there's something else that I want to show you guys. Come this way. Look at that key. <laughs> Okie dokie. And you've even, it's complete with the jail cell for the bad guys. Correct. And how long, how old does this go back? Is this still uh, kind of what they look like? Because, you know, I wouldn't It's know. actually a holding cell that came out of our old 2nd uh, uh, Precinct, which is now the 3rd Patrol Division. Mm -hmm. Now, look at these. You were showing us uh, some mug shots earlier today of some, of some of early Norfolk's worst offenders. Chicken thief. If only that was still our biggest problem. <laughs> All right, now we are over on the fire side of the museum, the history of Norfolk's fire department on display over here. I want to introduce you to Jean Grow. And we're actually standing next to, I guess, you, you wouldn't really call it the first fire engine, but in a way, this was how the hoses got around town. Oh, well, got started, yeah. It was pulled by men to start with, and later it would have been pulled by horses. You would have had a box of that nature, you could pull it open. If you saw a fire, pull down a lever, and it would just, um, by telegraph, um, actually go to the nearest um, help desk. He would know, just looking at these different cards, what neighborhood it was in, and he could notify um, the, the nearest fire station uh, that would be closest to that house. They still wouldn't know exactly where it was, though, just where the nearest box was that it came from, wow. you know, where box 765 was. They would look for the smoke. <laughs> right over here, you have the jacket, the helmet, um, even the pants, the matching pants, too, if they want to, so they can, you know, act like they're the fireman, mm -hmm. fire person. Uh, and they enjoy doing that a lot of times. The kids come uh, and they do that. All right, right in downtown Norfolk. So make sure you plan your visit soon to Norfolk's Police and Firefighter Museum and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you.